Hello beautiful people, in this video, we will create the most epic and bold stream starting soon screen within 7 minutes. I am using Photoshop, but you can follow photop.com in your browser if you don't have access to Photoshop. Let's go. If you want to get started quickly without learning the stream design process, our today sponsored own pro has something to offer you. Click the first link in the description box below and access over 600 plus premium stream assets and overlays. Besides that huge amount of stream overlays and packages, you will also get access to epidemic sound. That means your stream music without any copyright strike has been solved. Own pro got everything you need to level up your stream game. The great part is that you will only pay a monthly or yearly fee, and you can use current and every upcoming package without paying them individually. So, if you want to step up your game, click my link below and use the EMSQ code at checkout to get 50% off on the plans. Thank you, Own Pro, for sponsoring this video. Back to the tutorial. As always, create a new canvas with 1920 by 1080 size. Choose 72 for the resolution. Here are the color codes I will use for this video. And for the font, I have chosen Basement Grotesque. You can check this video to find more free fonts. Create a new solid layer by clicking this half moon icon. Choose the dark tone of the purple color. Select the text tool and press anywhere on the canvas. Write down your text and choose your desired font. Make the font bigger and align it. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can either change the font size directly or by pressing Ctrl plus T. It will enable the transform tool, then hold down shift and drag the anchor points. While the starting text layer is selected, hold down ALT and shift together, then drag the text. It will duplicate the text. Write soon for this text layer. Well, let's color the texts. Double click the first text layer. It will enable the layer style. From there, choose gradient overlay. Click the color picker box, then click the small color pointers and select the yellow color for both ends. Once you have selected the same color for both pointers, make any pointer into a darker tone of the selected color. Choose linear instead of radial in the style box. Then you can follow my settings. Blend mode to normal, opacity 100%, angle 90 degrees, and scale 55%. Once you are happy, select the stroke option. Add a 3 pixel stroke width and choose the lightest tone of your actual text color. Keep the position inside. Do the same thing for the soon text as well, I will speed up the process for you. If you struggle to find the gradient color of your liking, you can go to coolers. Once you are done with the soon text, create a duplicate of the text layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Then go to Filter and choose Liquify. A new window will open. First, select the first option from the left-hand toolbar. Keep the setting on the right side like mine. We need to add the melted look. To do that, press and drag your mouse to down motion. Keep it doing until you go to the line height you are looking for. It's a time-consuming part, so take the time. Again, double-click the melted text layer and choose Inner Shadow. From there, select a lighter tone of your main text color. Choose Multiply for Blend Mode. Keep the angle at 114 and the distance to 24 pixels. Keep the size 21 pixels. It will keep a 3D look into the text. Click the drop shadow. Follow my settings and keep the color to solid black. You can select the white color to see the drop shadows because we want the shadow to be very subtle. Click the plus icon and it will create a duplicate of that drop shadow. 
In this one, increase the distance slightly and increase the size to 51. It will give a softer shadow to the text. All right. Create a new layer on top of the color fill layer. Press B to select the brush tool. Right click inside the canvas to bring up the brush settings. Keep the brush hardness to 100% and size around 31 pixels. Now, draw some lines. Like zigzag. No need to make the perfect lines and do the hand drawing. You can press Ctrl plus Z to undo and again draw the lines. Once you are done, select the layer, go to Filter, and select Liquify. This time choose the fourth number tool. Now make the brush size bigger. When you press and hold your left mouse button, it will rotate the design in a circular motion. Do this on all the straight lines until you get the wavy look. Once done, click OK. Now you can see the hand-drawn lines are now a pattern. Choose Overlay or Soft Light for the blending mode. Select the color fill layer and go to Filter, and add a noise filter. Choose Convert to Smart Object. Keep the amount around 5% and distribution to uniform. Also, check the monochromatic checkbox as well. It will give the overall design a more busy look. Now, import your character without any background. I am using a PNG of an Apex Legends character. It's better to have your own image, to make it more personal. Create a duplicate of the starting text. Keep the character in between the both starting text. Now select the top starting text layer and give zero value for the fill option. Disable the gradient overlay by clicking the eye icon. Double click the layer and add a white stroke color. Once done, select the layer and right click. Then select rasterize layer style from the menu. Now press E to enable the eraser tool, and brush to remove the stroke from the right side. It will give the overall character and the text a more eSport vibe. Create a new layer by pressing the plus icon on top of the text layer. Press B to enable the brush tool. Hold ALT on your keyboard, you will see the eyedropper tool, and select the yellow color from the text. Then brush the starting text. Make sure the color covers the whole text. Then select Soft Light for blending mode. It will have a more generic glow effect, which is better than adding a glow effect. I will do the same thing for the soon text as well. I will keep it in time-lapse, so you do not get bored. In the meantime, can you smash that like button to help the algorithm? It will mean a lot to me. By the way, this step is optional but highly useful. I will be adding a camera raw filter to the character. I will make it more darker and moody. You can do that to your image as well. We can follow the same thing to add some light to the overall design. Create a new layer below the character and brush some colors. You can choose whatever color you want. I am sticking with our primary colors. Also, you can add some white colors as well. But keep in mind, don't decrease the opacity, choose soft light. If needed, decrease the opacity, but having soft light as blending mode is a must because it will also light up the bottom layer and textures. Let's add some branding. Drag your logo into the canvas. Make sure your logo is without any background. I am using the Apex Legend logo, but I highly suggest choosing yours. Press Ctrl plus T to enable the transform tools and rotate the logo a little bit. It will make the logo look like it was slapped in between the texts. I will be adding some gradient colors and drop shadows to make it float.
to add some shines to the logo, create a new logo on top of the logo layer. Choose a solid white color and brush some points where you want the highlights. Then choose overlay as blending mode. It will have the shine effects that look super sick. The shine actually looks better in the darker tone. As the top part is in white, you can get the shine look that much. But as I paint the bottom part, it has the shine effects. Okay. Now again, select the text tool and type your social media handles. I am using DM Sans Bold and Regular as font. Select the handle name and make it bolder. Create a duplicate by pressing and holding Alt and Shift together, and dragging the text to the left side. To wrap up the design, let's add another noise effect. First of all, select the bottom layer and hold Shift then select the top layer, then press Ctrl plus G. It will make a group. It will keep the layer style organized. Then, create a new solid color layer on top of every layer. Keep it pure black. Go to Filter, Noise, and add Noise. Keep the amount to 23 and keep the settings like the previous one. Now, choose Lighten as the blend mode and slightly decrease the opacity. It will give the character and text some subtle noisy texture. If you want to remove the noise on some specific part, click the mask icon and select the white thumbnail. When you choose the black color as the foreground color and brush, you will notice the noise disappearing. But if you want to add the noise again, choose the white color and brush those parts. Woohoo! We are done! Once you are proud of your design, go to File, Export, and choose Export As. From there, choose PNG as Format and uncheck Transparency. Keep the other settings as default and hit Export. I hope this video was helpful for you. Watch my other stream design videos you can see on the left side. Catch you in the next one. Peace.